So today's video is very personal and extra special to me because I have personally decided to dedicate this video all to my mom. Here in the UK, we are celebrating Dementia Action Week and while taking a walk at the park, I saw this amazing poem by Dan Simpson and I would really all like to share it with you. So I know that you guys might be a bit confused on why I have personally decided to dedicate this video to my mom. Well, my mom is still young but it all is because that she does this for a living. My mom is working in, a, in the healthcare industry and her job as in charge is ensuring the wellness and welfare of all the vulnerable people that have to be taken care of a lot and it takes a lot of courage and passion and for that reason me and my dad are very very proud of her i think my mom is one of the most hardworking people i've ever known but of course my dad too so i made some research to the episode and i also want to immerse myself to the topic so worldwide, 50 million people are living with Alzheimer in other dimensions. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What is dementia? So dementia is the loss of cognitive functioning, thinking, remembering, and reasoning, and behavioral abilities to such an extent, and it interferes with a person's daily life and activities. So let's discuss briefly what dementia does to a person. So dementia is the general term for memory loss, language, problem solving, and other thinking abilities that are severe enough to interfere with the daily life. This is a really sad memory. This is a really sad reality. This could be the worst feeling that if our older parents and grandparents will lose their ability to recognize us. What's going to happen to all our precious memories? Another sad part is that we are going to be blinded or blind to their emotions they have. So we don't know. We have zero ideas. I want to show another clip that I have took from the park. While taking this video, I had just thought to myself, these emotions are just a few. There must be actual millions of unheard emotions from people with dementia. The world is aging, so as our older parents and our grandparents. So the world is aging and so for our older parents and our grandparents. So I want to share with you guys a few actions we can do with our old parents or grandparents. So the first one is to spend our time with them. So this is very important. We must all find the time to spend with our older parents or our grandparents. So I know that we have taken for granted because we thought that they would always be there with us, 
and some cases it's like that or maybe not like that so even if we are busy with our own lives we should always make time for them simply because we owe it to them i'm sure that they were always there for us when we were little and this can be doing the simplest things like going to the supermarket with them or maybe even going on a walk or a just nice chat with them in my case personally Every time we went to the holiday in the Philippines, my ama, which means granddad, was always with us and I have had a lot of amazing memories with him. These pictures was taken in one of our holidays and as you can see, I am very close with my ama. More than two years ago, he had passed away. But even though I, d I knew I didn't spend that much time with him, I still have a lot of precious memories with him. And I remember that he was, he was always with us wherever we go. So now on to our second one is to show our positive emotions towards them. So when we are with them, we should always try our best to make them feel important. At some point, they can start to become very dramatic for everything, but let's assure that we are there with them always. The love that we show them must be pure and unconditional. So moving on on to our third one, which is to be patient. So I think when a person gets older, their behavior can change and they can become more talkative or maybe complain about everything. There could be way more, but each person is different. So in this situation, we must stretch out our patience. We must fully understand that being impatient could just make the situation worse. They could look angry or upset, but when they really aren't. Okay, so for our fourth one, it is to pamper or even surprise them. So I really like this part. I like pampering my mom or dad or my grandma or grandpa by surprising them with really nice presents. This is the best way of showing our love and that they are part of what we became. There are many ideas to do this. We can take them shopping, buy them their favorite perfume, or treat them or take them to their favorite restaurant. You may not realize, but there are many opportunities to do this, such as Mother's Day, Father's Day, Eid, New Year, or Christmas. The list is countless, but as my mom says, take the opportunities and try your best. Okay, now number five. So number five is to encourage them to tell them stories to you. So I really love listening to any interesting stories that our grandparents might share to us. Believe it or not, but sometimes the wisdom we learn from them cannot be learned from the classroom. So lastly that I have for you guys is to financially help them. So if you are fortunate enough to have plenty of money, then I definitely recommend that you could financially help out your older parents or maybe your grandparents. So those are the very few actions that I'd like to share with you all and I definitely recommend doing them while you can. So do you have any more suggestions that we could add in? So if you do, then please don't hesitate and share or write it down with us in the comment section. Lastly, this is me saying that the world is aging but no one should ever be left behind. Not our tata, nana, grandparents, parents, lola or lola or whatever you like to address them by. So if you did enjoy today's video, you could subscribe or even check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!